We've just seen the Avengers Age of Ultron. And now, we're going to review it. Ah! The Avengers, how can you possibly stop me? So, Scoo, what did you think of Avengers Age of Ultron? Scott, I really enjoyed it. I really did. I, I really, really enjoyed it. I thought that they really delivered. My initial reactions were extremely positive. I mean, what can I say? Like, it's packed with action. It's exciting. It's funny. Overall, really, really liked it. What about you? I really enjoyed it. The one criticism that I had for it <laughs> is that it didn't have as much punch as the first Avengers movie. Oh, okay. And I think that's what the big problem is. It was a lot of fun. It was really sharply written. Great effects, of, as we'd expect. Great actors doing awesome stunts and very memorable fight sequences. Yep. But it lacked just that little something extra. You can certainly see that there's been a lot of focus on the characters who don't have their own movie franchises. Mm. Um, Captain America and Iron Man and Thor don't feature in it as much as you would say that they probably did in the first film. Yep. Uh, there's a little bit more focus on Hawkeye and mm. Black Widow and Hulk. Um, which, you know, works well because yeah. they don't have other venues to be able to show off their characters and That's develop true. them. That's true. Um, but you do kind of look back at the first one and go, that first one managed to balance everyone pitch perfect in terms of everybody had the right amount of exposure and was doing something all mm. the time. And this one just feels a little bit out, out of kilter there. Okay. See, I feel that they actually did get that right. There, uh, there were a lot of Captain America scenes, and, mm -hmm. and his character was very well defined. He was the leader of the group. He took things seriously, took yep. charge. And then uh, there was Iron Man in there, and his character was very well defined. And he had a lot of moments. Uh, there were great moments between certain characters that yep. were really good. I mean, the comedy was there. The jokes worked really, really well. I'll set up, boss. Actually, he's the boss. I just pay for everything and design everything. Make everyone look cooler. Let's talk about the baddies for a yep. second. We've got the twins, first yep. of all. They were interesting. They started off being kind of in the bad guy realm, obviously, and then twisted around to sort of become kind of helping the good guys. In the comic books, they're actually X-Men villains. Mm. Um, well, this was the thing I wanted to talk about. These characters did feel like they were X-Men characters. Yeah. They felt like kind of mutants. In the film, they are referred to as experiments yeah. and enhanced, <laughs> yeah. um, which seems to be just the generic way of saying they're, <laughs> they're superhuman. Yeah. From the teaser at the end of Winter Soldier, you kind of thought that somehow the Scepter gave them powers. Mm -hmm. But it's all left... There was a Hydra thing as well, yeah. element to it. It's, yeah. it's left so unclear that there's no definitive answer there. You didn't see that coming? Ultron was cool. He was. Uh, James Spader, as we all know, voicing him, but I'm guessing they motion captured him, maybe even facial captured him. There was definitely some it. motion capture work done in there, um, and honestly, it's I put it up there as only slightly below Andy Serkis's work on Lord of the Rings and King Kong and Planet of the Apes <laughs> and, in terms of an awesome character. Yeah, and a side note, Andy Serkis is in the movie, but and as a human awesome. character, and he's, he's playing awesome. against, at times, playing against a CGI character, yeah. which is probably the first time he's actually done that, the role reversal, but that was cool. Um, Ultron, my goodness. I, I, I loved him. I, it was not what I expected at all. He had a lot more sort of humour yeah. and... Um, he was more human in a way than I than I expected him to be. It was really nice to see a maniacal computer villain who's not like Skynet or the Terminator. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he was clearly insane, <laughs> yeah. um, but he was funny and very human in that instance. Yeah. Rather than you know, all humans must be eliminated. Yeah. You have to give props to James Spader for a fantastic performance. Mm. It's scary and funny, and I don't think any other actor could have given that performance. You're all puppets tangled in strings. Another interesting character was Vision. Yep. Um, I really liked that Paul Bettany had been the voice of Jarvis ever since the first Iron Man. First Iron Man. And the fact that they brought him into this movie as, as a physical character now, mm. I thought that was brilliant. He brings a really unique presence to the role. Yeah. Um, More than just the voice. Yeah, it, it's a case of... 
he really did create a different character other than just Jarvis. Yeah, and he clearly looked very different. The makeup was exactly excellent. It was it, so good. I was I, just I looking at it going, that, is that makeup? I is think that it is. Forms capture? I, I, I don't know. It, it looked like makeup because it, it looked like it was really it on his face and it looked really yeah. good. I mean, they had some makeup in Guardians of the Galaxy. Mm -hmm of the alien characters, real actors in makeup, which yeah. was great to see, but to see this again. If it is makeup, I hope it is, because if it's CGI, well done, because awesome. it fooled yeah. me. So overall, a thoroughly enjoyable movie, Absolutely. I have to say. People have been saying, oh, it's a little bit darker, and Marvel's heading down a darker mm. road, but it's like, nah, there was heaps of levity in there, heaps of comedy to keep it yeah. lifted up, Absolutely. unlike the DC equivalent, which is just all downbeat and downtrodden. Yeah. So I think they absolutely nailed it. I'm going to say definitely a win for Marvel, but not the home run that we were hoping it was going to be. It's not another seismic shift the way that Avengers 1 was, or even possibly Guardians of the Galaxy was. Hmm. Um, it's a good, solid second entry. It's no Empire Strikes Back, though. Lord Vader, the fleet has moved down to light speed and we're preparing to... <laughs> you have failed me for the last time, <laughs> Captain Piet. Yes, my lord. Make ready to land our troops beyond their energy field and deploy the fleet so that nothing gets off the system. You are in command now, Admiral Viet. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. So there you go, film crew review of Age of Ultron. Definitely worth seeing. Great way to kick off the US summer season.